Well, after deliberating for two days, a Spokane jury could not decide whether Richard Aguirre, a former Pasco police officer, is innocent or guilty in the death of Ruby Doss. The 27 year old was murdered back in 1986. Crime 2's Kyle Simchuk was in the courtroom and explains what happens next. Well, while the judge declared a mistrial, this isn't the end for Richard Aguirre. He'll be on trial once again this spring. His defense attorney told us he wasn't necessarily surprised with today's outcome. After deliberating for just two days, jurors told the judge this afternoon they could not reach an agreement. Well, I mean, the options are two. We send them back in with directions to continue deliberating or there is a request for a mistrial. Aguirre's defense attorney, John Henry Brown, chose the second option. Well, a hung jury is not a failure by any means. You know, a guilty verdict, a not guilty verdict, a hung jury, that's not a failure in any way. The body of 27-year-old Ruby Doss was found in Spokane back in 1986. Police say she was strangled. Prosecutors say a condom with Aguirre's DNA was found near the scene. His defense argued if Aguirre was the killer, his DNA would have been all over the victim, not just on the condom. They have never found any of Mr. Aguirre's DNA on Ms. Doss, although they found DNA from numerous other individuals. Aguirre was originally charged with Doss's murder in 2015, but it was dismissed in 2017 due to a lack of evidence. Then charges were refiled in 2020. This isn't the first mistrial for Aguirre and his attorney. We've been down this road before in Pasco. Years ago, Aguirre was accused of raping and assaulting a woman. After that mistrial, he was found not guilty. And there was a not guilty verdict in 20 minutes. In court today, we heard Aguirre tell his attorney that he dropped the ball. He's disappointed, you know, that he wasn't acquitted. But he was very happy to be driving home. <laughs> so... Do you think he's happy with, with the job you've done? He better be. Attorney John Henry Brown has quite the legal resume. He defended serial killer Ted Bundy and Colton Harris Moore, otherwise known as the Barefoot Bandit. Brown says he plans to represent Aguirre this spring. I guess God's plan is not for me to retire. Okay. So I have to finish this one again. Aguirre's new trial date is set for March 7th of next year. He declined to comment. Reporting in studio, Kyle Simchuk, Krem2 News.